creatures of the internet. Today we're going to be playing some more Last Tale. As always, link in the description below. Was that a dream? A flashback to the events back in the underground? You're not sure what to think about this. You doubt you can go back to sleep after this. Someone's knocking on the door. <laughs> Just ignore him. No, fuck it. I'm trying to sleep. Let him in. Oh! It is the bus Skelly! Ah! Great! You're awake! Ahem. <clears throat> Prepare to be blown away, Frisk! For I, the Great Papyrus, has personally wrote what you humans call a resume! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I can totally see Pat doing this! <laughs> it is a poorly written resume with spaghetti towards achievement! <laughs> I'm dead, I'm done! With what little information you can get, it appears that he's applying for a high school football team's mascot. What do you think? Pretty impressive, is it not? <laughs> We're not gonna- Why would you say no? Yes, this is a but I knew it! Papyrus knows best. But I don't think this is enough. We need a little more something. What is it? Ooh, ooh, rehearsals! That's right, rehearsals! Frisk! I have a very important task that only you can achieve, since everyone is already asleep. I want you to help me rehearse for the interview. Wowee! This is overwhelming! I'm already feeling the butterflies in my non-existent stomach! Oh my god! Click the control input before the timer runs out? What? We got gameplay? Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh shit! Where's the other one? <coughs> Which way? Oh. Oh shit! Okay, okay, I know what I'm doing now. Up, down, that way, that way, that way, that way, down. Yes! That way, 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 yes! Up, side, down, side, up, side, down, yes! Up, down, up, side, up, down, side. We are the best. That side, 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 yes! Up, down, side, 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 down, yes! Up, down, up, side, up. Fuck, I fucked it up! Oh no! I wanna redo that! This is so adorable! I just want a whole game that's that! No, I wanna retry! I wanna retry! No! Oh no, I wanna try! Oh, I can't reload it, can I? No! Well, that ends today's event. Okay, I'm gonna quit right now and I'm gonna go right ahead to that part because I, I need to fucking get that! Editor's gonna fast forward this entire bit. I'm gonna save it right before the game starts. And we're gonna try that again. All right, cool. We back. We back for good. <laughs> that is still so fucking good. I like the little touch of the clip at the top too. That's really awesome. Rehearsals. Yes. Why would you tell them to stop trying? All right, cool. Complete the input before the timer runs out. All right, cool. Oh shit. Okay, we did it. Yeah, talking sure is a lot of work. We're gonna save that right fucking here. I need to sit down. Huh? Aw, he's nervous. Our boy is nervous. Aw. Papyrus seems different than usual. I <laughs> question friends. <laughs> Goals, maybe? What a weird question, Frisk. What is the point of being great without an attainable goal? You know, Frisk. Sans and I never had a parent to look up to. Because of that, we were often teased by the other kids in school. It felt horrible, much more horrible than Sans' horrible puns. Eventually, we quit school, turning to homeschools as an alternative. Or rather, schooling ourselves at home. One day at the park, I met Undyne. Undyne always told us to smile, no matter how hard the times. That's pretty ridiculous. It's like saying you'll smile until the very last ounce of your breath. I love it. Since then, I told myself not to frown again. I don't even remember what it feels like to be teased anymore. Even though I managed to describe it just now. <laughs> Weird. Anyway, I hold on to Undyne's words. And look, I'm now great and strong. Man, I've never told anyone about this before. If I told Sans, he'll make fun of me to no end. You must not tell this to anyone, Frisk. Aww. Aww! I believe in you! Wish me luck for tomorrow's interview. <laughs> Oh, Papyrus! Oh my god, that boy! He's just a ball of nervous and sad energy. He's just trying to be happy. I love that. I'm vibing with that. I get that. Smile, even if things are shitty. You gotta smile, Skeleton Brother. 
that ends the events for today. Saturday! This is a longer game? I did not expect this. With everything that had happened, you felt like you hadn't slept a wink. Knock, knock. Oh, you motherfucker! Hey, as promised, I'm ready to accompany you through the weekend. What? You don't think I'm a man of his words? All it takes is for me catching up on two days worth of duties. That is a lot of fucking work, bro. I specialize in last minute assignments, so don't worry. Now, shall we? Oh, let's visit Papyrus first. Papyrus? Sure, if you wish. Beggars can't choose, can they? Papy oh, we're in his room! Oh my god! Fisk, I am so glad you came before I head to the interview! I am so excited that I stayed awake the whole night! You give Papyrus a big thumbs up! Hell yeah, man! I know! I am feeling the same! But fear not! For I am well prepared. All thanks to you, Frisk. You wish Papyrus good luck. Wowie, I'm so happy. I can feel tears in my eye socket. Wait for the good news, Frisk. I shall make you proud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, that is a new kind of hyperconfidence I've never seen from Papyrus. Good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Now let's go. We don't have a whole day to waste, do we? We at the mall! Is that the only place we go? <gasps> oh? Isn't this Frisk and Sands? My, my, how are you, my fellow underground buddies? Just strolling at the mall. Gotta keep the kid happy somehow. Sure is a nice day to visit the mall with a friend, huh? Ooh, I wanna ask for an office! I wanna ask for an office! Ask office. I don't know if you meant what you just said, or it's just me, but you better watch your words, punk! Whoa, you do there, pal. You apologize for your mistake. Uh, no, I guess I overreacted. Now that you mention it, Frisk, can we talk some more private? Sure. Aw, oh, I can keep a secret, I promise. My mouth is sealed, literally. Go away, Sans. Alright. Guess it's time for me to experience the cool ride, then. Is that just code for drugs? With Sans out of the way. Frisk, the hero who brought us all out of the underground. If a legend can't help me, I have no idea who can. Ask away. So, you see, it's about Alphys. With the duties of a royal guard out of the way, I managed to spend more time with her. How was it? She is such a dork. What a cute dork she is. I can see that. After getting to know her better, I feel like... I feel like I can keep doing it for years and years to come. Aww. Which brings us back to this. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that is adorable! Yeah! I think it's finally time that I take the next step. Look, I might be a fierce warrior, but when it comes to love, I am a brainless fish! <laughs> but Virus, quite frankly, isn't fit for the job. Sans is out of the question. And Toriel, don't tell her I said this, but I think conversations like marriage is a trigger for her. Metaton is an expert, but dang, will that guy ever shut his mouth from spilling everything he gets to the media? That leaves you as the only person who can help me. The surface is so cruel. Anyone who grew up here obviously understands things as complicated as love, right? So help me out, please. I'm saving this. What do you say? <gasps> I hope you. Great, I know I can count on you. Now, Alphys always seems so happy with everything right now. Working on fan projects, attending anime conventions. Ooh, wait for the right time or no. Ooh, you can be aggressive or you can, for Alphys, I think you'd have to wait for the right time. Maybe you're right. Anime is Alphys's life. Yes, I am fully aware she's at the mall. Do you think I can roam here without a purpose? It's just, she looks like she's having so much fun. Do I really want to risk messing that up with a proposal that might not work? Who would want to live that down with that? You care, like these, there's no wrong answer here. You care about Alphys, yes. You're right. Perhaps it's still not the right time. Plus, I quite enjoy the calm time I am in with Alphys right now. No! Load! Load! I want her to propose! Follow your heart! Follow my own path, but... Alphys always seems so happy with everything right now. Working on fan projects, attending anime conventions... Don't back down! Hey, I think you're right! You know what they say, there's no time like the present! I think I'm getting the hang of this cruel world already! Yes, I'm fully aware she's at the mall. Do you think I can roam around here without a purpose? It's just, she looks like she's having so much fun. Do I really want to risk messing that up with a proposal that might not work? They are made for each other! They are made for each other! You are strong enough to! You're right. Absolutely right. I am Undyne, the leader of the now disbanded Royal Night Guard. What has anyone saw me running away from my fear or breaking down by a mere refusal? When was that part of my characteristic? Screw you, fear! I am not your puppet! 
from now on, I'm following my own heart. You could do this. Oh my god, you could do this. Thanks, Frisk. This is exactly what I needed. Remembering my own traits. All right, time waits for no one. Wish me luck. Not like I'll need it. Foo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <gasps> Oh my god, she gonna do it! She gonna do it! What? You think I would miss the opportunities to gossip? They fuel me with life, to be honest. Just kidding. So, what are we waiting for? We need the front row seat to the scenery. Here, I know a shortcut to the convention. We are saving this bitch right fucking now. Oh my god. Yes! Convention! Hey, usually I find anime conventions unconventional, but if you said a month, we can come here anyway. All we need to do now is to find Alphys before N9 does and Step right up and get your own copy of the new Mew Mew Kissing Kitty fan book by Dr. Alphys. Recommended by yours truly, the one and only Metaton! <laughs> Metaton, please, you're scaring the attendees. Oh no, please don't lay on my fan books. Well, what do you know? We did it. Oh, you look adorable! Frisk, Sans, fancy meeting you here. Ah, oh, my darlings! Did you come all the way here to be a sponsorship of Alphys' fan books as well? I appreciate your help, but there's enough attention to our booth as it is. My table's gaining a lot of unexpected attention. That one I admit. But why are you guys here? Really? And I gives you a kisses on Nine's battle <laughs> what she did do so that one time at the beach oh yes so lovely this can be an article to my magazine next month love knows no boundaries or finish the love story that's ridiculous stop Alvis, where are you oh no it's on nine but why is she here such a scene can only be described by an illustration so here it is oh my god that is so fucking adorable okay this I'd say there's a table on the fly, but isn't that kind of backwards for what people say at dinner? Alphys, wait! What the fuck just happened? Well, that took an unexpected turn. At any rate, it's worth the front row seat. Come on, let's go to the amusement center. With that ends the events today. Midnight! This child never fucking sleeps! What a day. Time for some well-earned rest. Knock, knock. <gasps> Why are you always shopping around at midnight, motherfucker? I know it's really late, but I'm still very much awake after having flashbacks to my interview this morning. It's perfect! There's no reason for them to turn down my upload. Why the hell was that? That's right! The Great Papyrus is soon to be a global mascot! Now's the chance to get a signature without the hour-long wait and cue frisk! Say, didn't you say you were gonna practice on your conference speech after the Papyrus? Oh, you're right! Farewell, human! The next time you see me, we'll be on the TV and magazines! Yeah! Yep, still the coolest. So, are you ready? Now that I've saved it, I am. What? Don't tell me you've forgotten about the midnight supper you promised. Don't worry, I'm treating. Let's go. That doesn't make it any less creepy. Oh my god! Sans took you on a walk while you were having a hot dog. It was from a cart stall at a lane you've never been to. Says that it's a highly recommended snack from a magazine he saw. And yet, you can tell that he is not as happy as he should be. Oh no! Well, he's basically a skeleton of depression and anxiety, I mean. Come on. Or rather, he looks like he has something on his mind that's distracting him from fully indulging. Let's finish this and go home, shall we? Looks like he's not in the mood to talk. Huh? What the fuck is this? What are you doing? Torio, what are you doing, bro? You're scaring me? Tori is scaring me! What are you- What is that? Is that magic? Is that bad magic or good magic? Okay, that was a really weird- That was real- I didn't catch that said. Whoops. Oh, it's Tori! Hey! Uh, good morning, Frisk. I hope you're also excited for the fireworks show tonight. It's Toriel. She seems filled with emotions. Isn't this just nice? Undyne, Alphys, Papyrus, and Sans. Practically everyone. Just us living happily together on the surface. Sure, it has its ups and downs. Saving that motherfucker right there. But when it comes to life, what more can you ask for? If life can go on peacefully the way it does, wouldn't that be nice? Huh. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're looking forward to tonight as well. It's finally time for the fireworks show. At the same time, it also marks the end of the week and our summer. I hope everyone will be here. Come down when you're ready and we'll hit the road. Oh, okay, go mom left. <laughs> Bye, go mom. 
You walk down the stairs. Somehow it felt off all of a sudden. You open the door and- What in the fuck? Hope. Generally accepted acronym HP. Theory 1. Vitality measurement of an individual that can be varied by those with power and ability. Theory 2. Important but alterable value that puts one on its existence. 1.1.3. HP as an invisible but manipulative value for monsters comes as a double-sided dagger. That's all I can remember. At the same time, that is also what we need, right? Let's look at theory one. Apparently HP is something that one can vary if they have the power to do so. As a human, that may seem normal. By taking specific actions, whether right or wrong, humans can increase their maximum HP. Who knows what actually fueled the increase? Now, theory two. A value you put on your existence? I mean, does that even work for humans? Have you experienced a decrease in HP along your journey, whatever the cause? Sure, you take a hit, you lose one or two points, but to permanently lose an HP that's already there? That is most definitely a monster kind of thing. Author needs to do his homework. Lastly, 1.1.3. This one comes off a little unfair, but monsters can't read their own HP. I'm not sure if it's sugarcoating, but it says it's a double-sided dagger. As a monster, I can confirm this. Why am I telling you all this? Well, we did start this together, right? It is only fair for me to end this together as well. Whether you're using it for good or for bad, I can't really judge, right? <laughs> Come now, the show is waiting. What the fuck is happening? Oh yeah, the fireworks, I forgot. I thought you were gonna take me to a murder dungeon! <gasps> Look at Go Pop! She's so happy. As expected, that was a great show! Let's keep it up for the upcoming season, shall we? I got my first letter from the surface this morning! It was the refusal notice! Aw, do not worry, part. He didn't get the job! Are you kidding me? He's a shit! Who could be Papyrus as a fucking mascot? There's always next time. No! There is only success if you refuse to give up on a goal! The great Papyrus will stop at nothing! Yeah! With that ends the summer break and all the events that have happened in a mere weekend. School has started and everyone has gotten a big progress in life. It feels like there were more things you could have done, but that isn't necessarily bad, right? As Toriel would say, it's just as nice if everything will be as peaceful as the usual days. Summer might be over, but our journey has just begun. Oh! Long ago, two races were going with humans and monsters and they were- is, Oh, is this just going back to the start screen? I don't know. Let's see if this goes back to the regular start screen, because if it does, that's gotta be the end of that. Oh, that's the end of that! Okay! Well, that was a pretty good game! Like, I-, I Some of the art was a little chonky for my taste, a little chonky, but overall, I like the actual coloring. You could tell that someone sat down and, like, did the different pieces to this game. The dialogue- Most of the issues with the dialogue I have are more than likely because the person, the dev, the creator, um, their main language is not English, so they're doing their best. And I think it really does transform well. They really got the spirit of the characters. I don't think there's multiple endings. I think it's just there's multiple choices that you can make throughout the game. I'm not going to be going through and doing any of their choices because I want you to click that link in the description below, download the game, try to play the game. Tell me if there's any secrets that you can unlock or if there's anything else you knew that we didn't do because that's always a thing. That was last sale. I'm sorry if the video is longer. Editor might have broken it up into two videos. <laughs> if that happens, whoops. But I couldn't just stop playing because I didn't know when it was going to end. I didn't know how short or long this game was, but I had a really fun time and I hope y'all did too. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It would mean the world to me. Until next time, friends, here on the surface. Bye! Mochi just jumped on my desk! What are you doing, man? He's rubbing on my monitors. He's being adorable. Save me.